Hello everyone. The date today is February 9th, um, 2020. It is Sunday, 1.32 p.m. and I am filming a video. I just want to do a little disclaimer because of the title of this video. Um, I'm not saying that you have to do any of these things that I'm going to do to feel beautiful. Um, but to me lately, I've just been, like I said in my last video, I've been feeling just kind of like not as good as I usually do. And I think that has a correlation with how nonchalant I've been about how I look and dress. And I just feel like me personally, I feel better about myself whenever I give effort to my appearance because I'm just that kind of person. I like to look pretty and I like to be popping and have my hair popping. And I've just kind of been lazy lately and that's fine. But today I'm going to get my mojo back. I'm going to um, get looking popping because tonight I'm going out. This video is probably gonna be like 10 to 15 minutes long, but I don't know, we'll see. I have a band-aid on my forehead. That's because I got rid of a blemish and I like to put a band-aid on it. Um, don't look. I'm not going to shower this morning, um, but I did shower last night, okay? So don't judge me. Point is, I'm not gonna wash my face because I hate washing my face outside the shower. Instead, I'm just gonna freshen it up with some uh, Mario Badescu aloe vera spray. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna assault my face with it and then take a cotton uh, square and um, just wipe my face off. And this kind of just removes some dirt and oil because I have really oily skin. So then I take it again and I do a light misting. So then I'm going to take some uh, facial lotion because um, if I'm going to be putting on any type of makeup, I like to have a nice, smooth, moisturized um, base, especially on my eyelids if I'm doing eyeshadow. I like to have it just nice and primed, so I'm just going to get like the tiniest amount. This stuff is really thin and um, lightweight, which is really good for the daytime for me because I'm oily. I only put it where I'm gonna be putting makeup, you know, because like my skin is super oily. I don't need to moisturize it d during the day because it's gonna moisturize itself. I'm gonna just be honest with you guys. I like literally barely wear makeup anymore. Um, but when I do, if I do ever, uh, this is how I do it. So I have Wonder Brow in blonde. Um, I'm not blonde at all, uh, but it matches for some reason. It like perfectly matches my hair. And I like wipe off most of the product off the brush and I literally just kind of like go like that on both eyebrows. And then I take an angled brush and I just, I kind of just distribute it. Like I don't worry about being precise. I'm not trying to like carve out an eyebrow. I'm trying to make it look as natural as possible. So I just kind of fill in the skin inside of my eyebrows, if that makes sense. Like I'm not trying to like carve out a shape of my eyebrow, you know, I'm just trying to like fill them in a little bit so they show up better. So, and then I just take a little spoolie and I comb it down, straighten all that out and then comb it back up. Usually during the day, like if I'm just a normal day, that's where I'll stop with my eyebrows. But since we're doing an event and we're being cool. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more eyebrow gel. This is NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. And I'm basically just gonna do the same thing I did with the spool and go down and then go up. And I this gel, like, this eyebrow gel is amazing. Like, my eyebrows will not move. They will stay in place all day long. It's kind of like a cool look, you know? And then I just kind of try not to emote too much with my eyebrows while it dries. And then once it dries, it's like staying where it is. Usually the next step, I would like curl my lashes and do mascara, but today I'm gonna do just a little, a little some some. I like to get like a brown pencil liner and um, I like to just like go along my lash line a little bit 
Okay, so I'm buffing that out. And then once that's on there, that's like a little, it's like a little eyeshadow primer type thing because that's gonna really help whatever I put stick. And I'm taking this, I literally have no, this is like some, I don't know where I got this. This is just in my drawer and I just thought it was like a cute little neutral palette. But this is like this pretty like brown, coppery, shimmery brown color. I'm gonna just dip my little tapered brush in there and then I'm just gonna like swipe along my lash line. I kind of just like that kind of like messy grungy vibe if you catch my drift. But now I'm just gonna take one of these like lighter shimmerier colors. This one's like a lilac pinky periwinkle type situation and uh, I'm just gonna get my pinky in there and I'm gonna dab it on the inner corner and right here like this is not super intense it's just a little bit of shimmer shimmer so i think that is enough now i'm gonna curl my lashes and put on mascara and i have this it cosmetics lash blowout mascara and i actually got this for free because my grandma works with or my grandma knows this chick who works at l'oreal or something and she just had a bunch of like makeup stuff that she gave to my grandma and grandma didn't want it so this is really cute because it looks like a little um, ceramic round brush for like a hair blowout, but it's like a lash blowout and it's really cute. I, it actually came with a ceramic round brush, like a big one for your hair that looks exactly like it and it's adorable. Ugh, I just kind of use whatever mascara I have, but I have this one and it's pretty good. It's better than the one that I had before it, which is pretty sure it's... Uh... Maybelline New York Lass, Lash Sensation. I usually would not put this much on at all. Like I would like put a tiny amount on during the day, but we're going out and we're going out on the town in the evening, nighttime. My eyes and my eyebrows are done. Like I look like a Glossier ad right now. I don't want to look intense. I don't want to look like I'm wearing tons of makeup. I don't want to have a lot of makeup on my face. That's why I don't really put on foundation and like concealer and things like that. It's just cause it's like, I don't like, cause I'm so oily. I just like, <laughs> I oil through all of my makeup. But now I'm gonna go for blush. I love blush because I'm very pale and I need it. Um, but I kind of, I kind of do my blush in like the e-girl style-ish. I didn't mean to do it that way, but I saw all these people doing e-girl makeovers and then I was like, Oh my god, I do my blush like that anyway, but I always put it on my nose. Cause, see, like some people have problem with redness in their face. I have problem with having no color in my face. So I have to put on blush to look like I'm not dead. So for lips, I usually just go natural, but um, whenever my lips dry out, like right now I have fresh chapstick and stuff on, so like, they look like they have color but whenever the chapstick kind of like dries out my lips literally match the color of my skin so um i'm going to go in with this anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick but i'm not going to put it on like a liquid lipstick uh because i don't want to have to deal with that i'm going to be working and like moving around tonight um, so I don't want to have to worry about like reapplying and like making sure it's not fading. So it's gonna already be faded. Check it out. So I wiped literally most of the product off of the thing and I'm just gonna go like once and then I'm gonna distribute it. It's like a light color, but you still have the color of this and it's gonna stay on for longer than just smearing on a little lipstick. But if you're wondering, this is in the shade Catherine. Um, but my eyebrows are popping, makeup is popping, and we're ready to move to hair. Okay, let's do that hair. So I did my wash day on Friday, um, and it is Sunday. And I did that on purpose because I wanted my hair to be nice and like matted and weathered so I can make it look really big and like messy and huge. Today, I want her to be large. So first we're going to dampen her 
Then we're going to use some mousse on her um, because that has always given me really big fluffy results, especially on refreshing my hair. And I'm going to come back when my hair is all damp. That took me probably like 30 seconds to do. Um, but now I'm going to take my mousse and this one is by OGX and I'm going to just like get that much. I'm flipping her upside down, I'm getting the underside, and I'm flipping her to the side, and I'm getting the side side, flipping her over again, getting the other side, just basically trying to, and then I'll spray my hand with water um, to try to like get all that product off and onto my hair. Now I'm just gonna scrunch it in. I seriously don't want this to be sopping wet because it's gonna take forever to dry it back, but I just need every bit to have water on it. Now I'm going to diffuse it upside down. This is dry now. It's still in the mousse cast because this mousse leaves a brilliant cast, which I love. But before I uh, break the cast, I'm gonna take some Pantene alcohol-free hairspray. I'm just gonna help set everything in place with the hairspray. Now that the hairspray's all on, I'm going to um, diffuse it with heat just a little bit just to dry that hairspray and kind of like have a second cast over the cast that was already there. The hairspray is dry. We're not done yet. I'm going to take dry shampoo and I'm going to put that in as well. And this one is by Not Your Mother's and it is unscented because I hate scented dry shampoo. So now, I'm going to let that dry while I get some OGX coconut milk um, anti-breakage serum and this is just gonna add some sheen and I'm just gonna scratch out the crunch while I wait for that dry shampoo to finish soaking in and everything. The crunch is gone. Not quite done. I'm gonna get a pick comb um, and I'm going to use it to distribute the dry shampoo. Like, I'm not kidding with you, I want my hair to be sky high, and if it's not, I'm gonna cry. Now I'm done with the pit comb, and I'm taking my fingers, and I'm shaking real violently. I'm going to the side, shaking that. So now it's time for the reveal, because it's ready to flip over. It needs some zhuzhing. So right here, this is a little bit mwah. Um, It's not, it's kind of frizzy. So what I like to do in that area is I like to get uh, some ORS curled unleashed weave-in and um, put just the tiniest bit on my hand. And then I like to just add this right here because this weave-in has a ton of protein in it and that's just gonna help this hair stay out of trouble. See how that just like gave it some shine and helped it clump together? This is honestly all I could ask for right now, so. Let's find an outfit. Boot, pant, jacket, hair, makeup, chain. I feel like I could harm a man or a woman or anyone. This is a very awkward angle. It's just hard to get a full body shot, okay? Um, that's it. I post videos every single Wednesday. Follow me on Instagram if you'd like. So, uh, See you next Wednesday.